Hi, Caleb with Brownouts here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Midwest Industries Alpha Series adjustable stock. All right, so for those of you who are familiar with uh, Midwest Industries, you know they make a ton of things for the AR-15, AKs, uh, there's a, a bunch of different firearm platforms. And this is just another thing in that, uh, that long list of products. So the actual mechanism itself, well, let's just do a brief overview first. This is a, uh, this is a fully adjustable stock with a 1913 adapter. So it'll fit anything with a 1913 rail on the back of it. Uh, whether it be you know your SIG MCXs, uh, AKs, or this BRN 180 I have right here. Now, again, it is a stock, so all NFA rules apply. So if you're going to be putting this on something with a short barrel, uh, of course you need to make sure you follow the proper avenues for that. That was my little legal spiel I got to give there. So let's uh, let's keep moving here. So the actual folding mechanism itself that attaches to the 1913 rail is the same thing Midwest Industries uses for all their other folding stocks. Uh, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So that's exactly what they did here. So if you take a look at the folding mechanism, that same strong latch, spring loaded. And with these screws on the back here, you can remove those, flip this whole thing, and it'll then fold the other way. So if you have something uh, you're mounting it on, you want it to fold the other way, no problem. This will This is easily convertible. And uh, we have another video on how to convert it as well. All right, so that's enough about the mechanism. Let's talk about the actual stock. So I'll just kind of start at the front and work my way to the rear, uh, you know, tip to butt fashion. So on the sides here, you have a QD socket on that side, and I'll spin it here. QD socket right there on the other side for all of you ambidextrous users out there. The actual cheek piece itself is polymer, uh, the rest of it is aluminum and steel. So this polymer cheek piece, you have two thumb screws here. Uh, both of them are knurled, and then they also have slots in them in case your buddy over torques the heck out of it and you need to get it off. But you just loosen these screws here and then you can adjust the cheek height up and down. And uh, it's just that simple, nice solid way to do it. And as far as actual adjustment goes, uh, this is adjustable for length of pull. So if you notice you have this button right here, you just push this button in and you can slide the entire stock in and out and it locks in various positions just like a standard AR kind of collapsible stock type setup. And then let's talk about the actual butt pad. So the butt pad is a rubber, rubber butt pad that's interchangeable here. You have screws in the back and it's also adjustable for height. So if you notice this screw on the side here, there's one that mirrors it on the other side and you just take those out and this, uh, this entire butt portion rides on a rail and you can raise it up and down. So whenever you're trying to get you know, behind a particular optic on any of those firearm platforms, it's fully adjustable so that you can get behind it comfortably. And I noticed that's kind of a issue with a lot of, uh, a lot of stocks that mount to 1913 is that they're not adjustable. So if you put it on a different firearm platform, you then end up with this weird uh, weird cheek well trying to get behind your optic. And uh, this eliminates that issue. So uh, that's really all there is to say about it. It's a straightforward product, really cool. Uh, it has, it kind of reminds me, if I can, if I can say this, uh, the Zenit PT-1 style AK stocks. It, uh, it's like a newer, more updated, just kind of, better version of that that melts to 1913. Yeah, so really cool product from Midwest Industries. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.